Welcome to Pushing Cardboard. Today we're having an unboxing of the latest module from uh, MMP for uh, ASL called Twilight of the Reich, end game in the European theater, 1944 to 45. Uh, this is a this is kind of an odd an odd module to my mind in that uh, they're calling it a core module. It's uh, ASL module 16. It says here, and the scenarios are. Uh, the numbering on the scenarios makes it uh, clear that it's a core module, but it's uh, unlike pretty much all the other core modules, um, this doesn't really this uh, it doesn't represent a, a nationality or a theater or anything like that. It's uh, it's basically um, scenarios and uh, updated or not updated uh, new sets of counters for uh, some unit types that they thought were missing for the late war. Uh, so I think uh, most of the scenarios in this box are going to be in uh, Berlin and, and uh, Budapest. Uh, so there's a there's a a complete uh, a complete order of battle for some uh, SS units and for some uh, Soviet NKVD units um, as well as some updated uh, units for other nationalities but uh, it's not a it's not a historical module. It's uh, it's just got these uh, these special late war uh, OOBs and a bunch of scenarios. Uh, it has its own uh, double sided uh, maps. I'm sure we'll see when we open it up. And apparently, uh, just a huge whack of overlays as well. So. Um, so yeah. So you know the fact that it, it's not a nationality or something makes it not feel like a core module and the fact that there's no campaign game makes it not feel like an, uh, a historical module so it sort of fits somewhere in between in a way maybe like the Swedish the little Swedish package but that was a much smaller uh, package uh, it certainly wasn't like a core module and this uh, we'll see how much is in here when we, when we open the box but it's a it's a big thick three inch box or here so anyway let's uh let's open it up and see what all the fuss is about um, Sort of was. It's one of those ones where you like. Do I really need this? But uh, I don't know. In for a penny, in for a pound. It feels like with ASL, right? Well, yeah. I have have a look at that. Uh, I have no idea why they couldn't have put this in a, a box half as thick. That's just crazy. Um, but let's start going through the contents here because uh, on the plus side there's um, some new uh, replacement pages that has the uh, the late war SS info so some nationality pages some uh, I think there's some uh, some new terrain types as well here is uh, yeah there's gonna be some new terrain types there's uh, rail cars and rail car counters uh, debris counters which I think had only ever been in um, historical modules before so they finally make their way into the, the game proper so anyway there we go we have some chapter A and some chapter B, I guess that is. Oh. I don't know what these little. I, I haven't seen these cars before. These are for mortars, a German, a American, and a Russian. All the, the 81, 82, 80 centimeter mortar or millimeter mortars. Uh, I don't know if they're little info cards or what, but that's sort of interesting. Never seen those before. Here's our first set of counters. This is the uh, obviously the the SS ones. I'm happy to say they are on blue instead of black. And uh, we can see they are f five four eights. Pretty standard ASL counters. First of our boards, there we go. 
we're, we're going to see a lot of uh, urban boards here. This is 19A, 19B. Here are the first of the overlays as well. So we have uh, railways, railways, sort of like a factory complex in a way, I think that looks like. Uh, a, a, a huge graveyard as well as more railways. I think that's another, yet another uh, giant uh, cemetery perhaps and more railways. Uh, a station uh, and uh, rail yards. <laughs> more rail yards. More rail yards and uh, sort of a factory complex there again. Oh, a huge, huge factory complex here. And rail yards, rail yards. This looks very familiar, similar to the uh, previous one. And some more. So tons of. Uh, Tons of overlays. Here's the next. Uh, so this looks like a park within. It's all uh, stone buildings around the outside, but uh, sort of like a park in the middle. That's interesting. Also, we see lots of uh, sewer markers here as well. And here we have. Uh, the Russians, so we have some uh, 628s for those NKVDs. Uh, and I think these American and British units were just to provide, um, like these are 648 uh, assault engineers, I think is what we've got going on here. And 747, same thing. I think it was just to give some, some of these 648s that actually have the E in the circle. Um, kind of few uh, uh, AFVs and artillery pieces here, uh, debris counters, the, the previously mentioned uh, rail car counters, a few new um, the leaders there which is uh, interesting to see uh, 8 plus 1s. And then for the Americans, we've got a couple eight ones and an eight two. So there we go. And uh, another board. Oh yeah, heavy industrial area. And another one, heavy industrial area as well. Or sorry, this is this looks more like a heavy urban area. And then finally, uh, the scenarios. So I won't go through all of these, but uh, looks like we have a we have some here with like uh, purchase tables and uh, whatnot. So that's obviously a sort of a larger scenario. Yeah, when they're when it takes more than one side, look, a lot of these scenarios have more than one side. So, uh, yeah. It's funny, you know, they said that uh, one of the reasons for bringing out these new counters was to cut down on having to reprint so many uh, scenario special rules. But <laughs> every scenario in this box seems to have a ton of scenario special rules. Like, uh, I, I don't think we've seen a, a scenario Two scenarios like back to back. Scenar There's no scenarios in this box that fit on a single page. They're all double sided. So that's kind of funny. If uh, if if part of the reason for creating these counters was to uh, cut down on the SSRs, uh, the scenarios certainly didn't. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's it. That's what's in uh, that's what's in this huge box. This completely oversized box that makes no sense and is going to take up more room on the shelf than you'd probably like unless you have a bunch of ASL gear that you want to uh, put in it. But that's uh, that's Twilight of the Reich, the latest uh, so-called core module from ASL. Thanks for watching.